much your WooCommerce products on Miracle? Then today, I'll show you how you can easily list your WooCommerce products on Miracle even if you have a large number of products in your store. Hey everyone, this is Sadia from Product Pin Manager. In this video, I'll show you how you can create the right Miracle product feed in just a few clicks. So, let's go to WordPress dashboard. As you can see, I'm on my WordPress dashboard. And to create a Miracle feed, I'm using the plugin Product Pin Manager for WooCommerce. And I have the Pro version. You can use this plugin if you want to generate accurate product feeds for any online merchant. Once you have installed and activated the plugin, you will see the product feed option on your dashboard. Now to create a new feed, click on the add new feed option. It will take you to this feed creation page. Here firstly, you need to set a feed title. So I'm naming the feed as miracle feed. Now from the drop down, you need to select the merchant where you want to promote your products on. So as we are creating a product feed for Miracle, let's search for it and add it. Now once you have selected the merchant, you will see the attributes will be automatically listed below. Now one thing I'll tell you is that all these attributes you see here is not mandatory to sell on Miracle, the SQ, product ID, product ID type, price, quantity, state, these are the mandatory attributes for selling on Miracle. But we have added some optional attributes that are mostly used and if you use them, you'll get an extra advantage. But if you don't prefer them, you can simply delete them, alright? Now let me quickly show you the attributes one by one. So the first attribute you see here is the SKU. You can see the value is already assigned. So this value will come from the product data of your WooCommerce store. Then you see the product ID. This is a unique identifier of your product for the product ID type you'll choose. Now you see the product ID type. Miracle allows you to select the product identifier you prefer. So you can select SQ, UPC, MPN, whichever product identifier that fits for your business. Then you see the description, which is the offer description and then internal description, which will be the description that will be shown at the back office. There you have the price and if you click on the edit option, you will see there are different price options to choose from. You can select the regular price of your product. You can even select the sell price and you can even choose if you want to include with tax value or without tax value. All right. Then you have the quantity for your product. This is the available stock quantity for any product. Next, you see the attribute which is minimum quantity alert. This is the threshold quantity for your product. Next, you see the state attribute which is the state offer code for your product. This basically defines whether your products are new or vintage. There you see some date attributes which are available start date, end date, discount start date, discount ended this is to specify when your offer becomes available and when your offer ends so if you don't have any date you can leave the assigned value option blank or you can simply delete the attributes then you see the update delete attribute which you can use in the normal input mode now let me just add the values of the attributes So I have assigned the values for all the attributes, but if you want, you can add new attribute or any custom attribute if you want. So once you've added the attributes, your feed is pretty much ready. Now before you publish your feed, let me take you to the settings and feed filters. If you click on the settings, you'll see the settings are already pre-configured, but you can always change them if you need to. And if you go to the product filter option, you'll see some filter options like category filter, tag filter, product filter. Uh, you can use these product filters if you want to include or exclude specific products from your feed. You can even add a custom filter 
apply under conditions or you can even add the feed rules to manipulate some of your feed attributes all right now once you are done with the settings and filters it's time to publish your feed for that let me click you to the publish button and it will start generating Once the loading is done, your feed is ready. You can now view the feed, copy the feed link or download the feed. Let's view the feed. See the feed is created exactly in the format that Miracle requires. So that's how you can easily create a Miracle product feed. Now the next step is to upload the feed in your Miracle Merchant account. So what are you waiting for? Start selling on Miracle today and increase your WooCommerce revenue. I have given the link to product feed manager in the description box below. Don't forget to check that out. So that's it for today. See you in the next video.